Sophie Gengember Anderson was an artist who was born in Paris, France in 1823 and later became a British citizen. Her career began as a lithographer and portrait painter, and she went on to specialize in genre painting of children and women in rural settings. Anderson's artworks were influenced by several art movements such as Romanticism, Neoclassicism, and Kitsch. While her earlier works were more aligned with Neoclassicism, she later incorporated the themes of Romanticism and the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood in her paintings, creating a unique style. Anderson's artworks gained recognition during her time, and her painting, Elaine, was the first purchase of a woman artist by a public collection. Her painting, No Walk Today, was later purchased for over £1 million, cementing her status as an important artist. While Anderson collaborated with other artists like Walter Anderson on portraits of American Episcopal bishops, much of her work stands out as an independent and distinctive collection. Sophie Gengember Anderson was born in Paris in 1823 to a French architect and artist, Charles Antoine Colomb Gengember, and his English wife Marianne Ferry. Interestingly, the family adopted the surname Hubert after moving to America. Sophie's love for art started at an early age, and she was largely self-taught. She traveled to Paris to study portrait painting briefly and develop relationships with other women artists at the school. Later, the family left France for the United States to escape the 1848 Revolution, where they settled in Cincinnati, Ohio. In 1849, her portrait, figure, and Brittany landscape paintings were exhibited at the Western Art Union Gallery, including a three-panel set of Victorian London scenes called The Ladder of Love. Sophie met her future husband, Walter Anderson, in Cincinnati, who was a British genre artist. They later moved to Manchester, where her brother, Henry P. Gengember, was also an artist. She exhibited her paintings throughout her life, including A Neapolitan Boy in 1875 and The Song in 1881. Her painting stylings primarily centered around women and nature. In her later years, Sophie and her husband settled in Falmouth, United Kingdom, where she passed away on March 10, 1903. Sophie Gengember Anderson's paintings were known for their dreamy and imaginative qualities. She took inspiration from classical literature and fairy tales, often featuring women and children in idealized settings. Her use of color was also highly praised, with her paintings often featuring rich, vibrant hues. Sophie Anderson's work is well regarded and valuable, with her paintings selling for hundreds of thousands of dollars at auction. She is undoubtedly one of the most talented Victorian-era painters whose work is admired to this day. In conclusion, Sophie Gengember Anderson's art speaks to her incredible talent and creativity as an artist. Her style, which drew upon various art movements such as Romanticism, Neoclassicism, and Kitsch, set her apart as a unique figure in British art history. Anderson's ability to paint dreamy and imaginative works, using women and children as her subjects, marks her as an important figure in the Victorian era. Despite receiving little formal training in art, she gained notoriety for her genre paintings and became the first woman artist to have a painting acquired by a public collection. Anderson's contributions to the art world will undoubtedly continue to be celebrated for years to come.